think I think too much. I feel his face. Ain't nobody watching. I feel his face. I just fade away. I feel it. What's up, comic book hall aficionados? This is uh, Zraximus Rogue, back with another stack. Sorry, Nate G. Had to procure that awesome catchphrase. I'm giving you credit, though, man. It's it's perfect. I uh, just wanted to... Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen any of my videos before, but I always start off with a little bit of hip-hop. That's Fade uh, by Kanye West. If anything, check out the music video. It's bad. I always feature a little piece of art from a local convention that I got and also my sports uh, allegiance. Gotta say what's up to those boys in blue, the Dodgers, off to the Fall Classic. Uh, hopefully it'll be a good series. Uh, I'll jump into this video. The first book I have is uh, NYCC Spider-Gwen 24 Variant uh, Cover D. This book was featured on Hot Variants, uh, I think, right shortly after the show. Spider-Gwen's been getting a lot of love. This was one of the exclusive variants, so I jumped on it. I think I got it for around 85 bucks. Love it. It's in pristine shape. The only thing I really don't like is that ugly scribble along the side. I really wish I could have gotten a copy without the signature, but I'll take what I can get. More NYCC exclusives. Uh, at, uh, Venomverse 1, Matina variant, Virgin and regular cover. Uh, was super excited when I found these I think for about 85 bucks also uh, however came with some damage here so these are gonna go back I actually got a replacement pair one of the awesome CBSI members posted a link to Scorpion Comics where these were 50 bucks each so I just ordered a replacement but still great looking cover uh, a couple of mail grabs uh, Supergirl 12 our supergirl art gem variant uh, supergirl 12 these settled around 10 bucks got both of them for eight i love getting doubles so i just got picked up two these were about 17 dollars shipped so again two books i'm glad to have in my collection another book that i've been looking for for a long time seems like when i find it once i find it multiple times this is actually the second copy of this book I got. First copy was one online from a fellow CBSIR, Ben Steiniger. Uh, awesome guy, included an extra. Uh, can't say enough how much I appreciate that. Uh, awesome copy for uh, about market value. I don't. I've been looking. I've been chasing this for a while. I finally pulled the trigger, and I'm glad I helped a fellow CBSI member. Just hope it was. Wish it could have been done off eBay so they didn't get their cut. Uh, next couple of books are, are the uh, Matina Generations 2 variants. I think these are ripe to blow up. I've also found these on e uh, Feebay. Uh, these went for under 30 bucks for the set of five. And luckily for me, all the spines are nice. No color breaking defects whatsoever. So I'm glad to have these. Uh, I think Trey mentioned it before. I think these are some of those that go in a long box get forgotten about for a couple years and an and increase in value uh, from Sad Lemon Comics oh next one from Sad Lemon Comics I ended up getting the Clayton Crane connecting variants for Venomverse um, I thought they were gonna be worth a little bit more than they are uh, they're not but they're great covers nonetheless uh, glad to have them glad to deal with Sad Lemon I I've always had a great uh, I've always had great re interactions with him. Great shipping. So even though it's across the pond, I don't mind mind paying a little bit more shipping for for his quality. I'm not saying Frankie's or Seven Eight Nine Nine or these other comic shops here in the U.S. are bad. I'm just saying you know went with him first. I liked it, so he'll keep my business. The next uh, book I got was the Age of Ultron 3 Sun Yuk variant. I love this book. One of the best renditions of Hulk, I think, ever. Uh, he just looks like a beast. He's a beast. Uh, ended up getting this for around 30 bucks. I had been waiting on it, waiting on it. They were going for 60, 65, 50. 
and I just was patient and uh, you know waited until this was a, a $30 book a couple of other books I got uh, were these uh, here's Negan uh, Barnes & Noble exclusive hardcovers got two of them uh, they both come with this exclusive uh, variant, Negan variant. I don't know if it's Walking Dead 100 or what it is, but at the time I bought these, they were going for 40. Of course, by the time they got here, they were they settled back down to 20. So I don't know. I might just put them, put them away. Maybe let them go now that the season's going. Maybe um, uh, maybe they'll increase in value. Either way, I'll take one. Even if I get 10. 10 bucks for the other one, hey, um, you play the game and sometimes the game plays you, man, so, you know, it is what it is, uh, I'm gonna fly through these other books, uh, these other books are from a uh, Craigslist deal I, I, I found, it was, um, somebody on Craigslist was selling comics, uh, and, uh, you know, I said, actually, it was on Let Go, been exploring new digital ways to get comics. I kind of exhausted Craigslist and eBay, so I've been using Let Go. Um, I've been using other avenues to get comics, and they actually bore a lot of fruit. Uh, this was one of them. Uh, hit up some guy. He had a whole bunch of comics. Ended up getting uh, Mighty Thor 37 uh, newsstand variant for 20 25 it's not near mint. I'd say very fine near mint, but you know, it's a nice copy with the press. It might be a $40, $50 book in the future. He threw this in for five bucks. Batman 253. It's an appearance of the question. Not sure. I think this guides for like 10, 15, maybe 20 bucks in this condition, but you know, it's a book I didn't have and one I'll be happy to add to the collection. Another uh, let go deal or Facebook marketplace or some, some other digital. Uh, social media spot that I got that I contacted a comic uh, person uh, got these books the the one I went in blind he had like seven boxes asked me what I was looking for I said with your picks it's not really clear so just bring some boxes he ended up bringing boxes not much I really liked or had but he these were all gotten for a grand total of 50 bucks I ended up getting actually 70 Ended up getting this New Mutants, uh, Marvel graphic novel for New Mutants, first print for 50 bucks. It's not an excellent condition, but the corners look nice, the spine looks nice, doesn't have a lot of scuffing on the back, that's more the bag than anything, and it's a first print, so, you know, I went with it. Other books I got from him for, for five bucks each, uh, Spider-Man, Man of Steel, second print, uh, Green Lantern Corps 201, first appearance of Kilowog and the Green Lantern Corps. Might blow up, might not. Secret Wars 2, sketch variant, first Quake, and Ultimate X, uh, number one, first Jimmy Hudson, son of Wolverine. Couple of spine ticks that break color, I think one, but, you know, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes I want to spend and, and, and forget to kind of look at the quality, and this time I did. Uh, all these other books are because of a uh, an, another social media ad that I answered in regards to comics, and I'll fly through these. Uh, these are all comics that uh, some lady had on consignment. They had obviously been picked over, but um, not well because I think I got some good books for cheap prices. Nothing here was over two bucks. Uh, I think I got a stack of books for two bucks, another stack for a dollar fifty, or for a dollar. So they all average all these books averaged out to about a dollar fifty. Amazing Spider-Man fifty-one or four ninety-two. Uh, J. Scott Campbell cover. Amazing Spider-Man five hundred. J. Scott Campbell cover. Uh, two Amazing Spider-Man thirties. J. Scott Campbell covers. I believe this is the first Morulon or some villain. $1.50 each, and these are all in great condition. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 32, J. Scott Campbell. Amazing Spider-Man 33, J. Scott Campbell. Amazing Spider-Man 34, J. Scott Campbell. 35, uh, and it goes on and so forth. Um, I've been on a J. Scott Campbell kick also, and uh, I just kind of got it in my head that I wanted to collect his Gen 13 run. Uh, and for $1.50, I added number 17. I think I need the whole set. Um, a weird J. Scott Campbell cover, Danger Girl special number 
it's not even numbered but just kind of a weird painting style uh, still J JSC but you know not his usual style another book I got was a action comics number 544 I believe this is the first time Lex wears this costume it heated up for a while before Superman Batman down to justice kind of died down but I had a copy that was very dirty up here. Just got this copy for a dollar fifty to replace it. Uh, found some Adam Hughes covers, Legionnaires number seventeen. Adam Hughes cover, uh, a little bit of a risque cover. Kind of goes under the radar. Uh, I was happy to add it for a buck fifty. A Batgirl variant that I liked. That I said why not for a dollar fifty. Swamp Thing number thirty six. And I don't know why I got this book. It might have been on a want list. I don't know if it's an early cameo of Hellblazer. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. But something else I could add to the collection. A couple of old, old Fantastic Fours in good condition. 164, Quasar on the cover. Uh, 168, Luke Cage on the cover. And 167, Incredible Hulk on the cover. I love old Incredible Hulk on... On, in books, old Spider-Man books, old Fantastic Four books. Again, another, I think, a good ad for $1.50. Some Gen 13 Adam Hughes love. This was actually a, a Gen 13 Ordinary Heroes. Uh, number two, Adam Hughes cover. And followed by number one, Adam Hughes cover. Uh, think, again, under the radar Adam Hughes covers that have been coming to light lately. And I just wanted to add it to my ever-growing collection of stuff that I'll never sell. Um, this, this series, uh, Superman Gen 13, 3, 2, and 1. Actually, the more popular versions of these are the ones with the J. Scott Campbell cover. I think you can find individual issues, 10, 15, 20 bucks. Sometimes the sets go for as much as 80. This is, the, I guess, the, ver the alternate cover. Uh, the thing I didn't really know was this is actually penned by Adam Hughes, which is one of the reasons why I picked these books up. They don't go for much, probably dollar, two dollar bits, but again, just kind of try to build a stack. Uh, and some more Adam Hughes goodness, ghost number one, ghost number three, ghost number two, uh, ghost number five, six, and seven and I believe this is a whole ghost run of his I think there's a special or a one-shot I couldn't find it but you know I'm happy to have these for a dollar fifty and some other books that I was a little surprised to find were these uh, Dark Horse Presents books uh, they all feature Hellboy uh, these are kind of the more sought-after books in the later issues of Dark Horse Presents don't know how rare or, or valuable they are at one time I think they went for 10 15 bucks each I know I didn't have them so again another good ad Dark Horse 88 Dark Horse 89 uh, Dark Horse 90 Dark Horse 91 I think those are the more valuable ones but he also appears in um, Dark Horse 100 and I believe this next one in Dark Horse 100 zero issue he's on the cover again i i think the dark horse 88 through 91s are 10 to 15 dollar books these others might be four or five dollar books but again solid ads i think uh terminator burning earth number one uh some people find these for cheap some people these are on some dealers walls this is actually uh significant this is the first Alex Ross work in comics Terminator the Burning Earth number one this is obviously the newsstand cover but I believe the direct edition has another little digital kind of drawing in there that has a secret message I'm not sure which one's worth more all I know is it's an it's the first Alex Ross in comics so again another solid ad for $1.50 uh, just a book I'm trying to complete my collection on Captain America 1. I believe this is first Hydra cap. $1.50. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have done it because I have a copy, but you never know. And the cover I always pick up if it's in good condition is uh, Sin, uh, Dark Horse Comics Presents number 62. I think this is the Electric Chair Marv edition or book. 
just a nice cover that I always like to add. Uh, some more books from this place, this uh, Lady in Elk Grove. Um, just again, just things I wanted to add for my collection for $1.50. I thought it, they were they were solid ads and I said, why not? Oni double feature number 12. I initially, when I got this, I thought this was the first Blunt Man and Chronic, but I didn't have time to check my phone, so yeah, I just added it. I like them, so why not? Uh, Adam Hughes Wonder Woman 158, and again, all these were $1.50. This is actually significant, Thrill Killer number 62. This is actually an early appearance of Harley. Some people consider it her first DCU continuity or DCU appearance outside of the animated comics. A lot of people don't. I didn't have it. I've seen it on dealers' walls from 20 to 60 bucks, and I thought, hey, for a dollar fifty, again another solid ad. Uh, Supergirl bat or Supergirl 63 Jim Lee cover. I always pick this up anytime I can, especially for the price. Um, Jupiter Legacy number one studio edition. I don't know why I got this book, <laughs> honestly, but hey. Uh, another high quality Bronze Age book, OMAC number one man army number one. This book is very nice. There's obviously some yellowing of the cover, but again, for a dollar fifty, you know, I a high grade bronze book. Yeah. Just another cover I really liked, uh, Huntress and Power Girl 12. I love Power Girl covers. Um, you guys know my, if you've seen my videos, you know my fascination with Hughes and Power Girl. Uh, some of these millennial edition Justice League books, books that I'll probably never own, but hey, I can get a, a millennial edition with a nice pretty gold stamp. Uh, this is Ju Brave and the Bold 28, first appearance of the Justice League. Uh, a weird Batman, Dark Joker, the Wild Ash Can. Don't know what that goes for, but yeah, I'll take a shot for a buck fifty. Superman uh, number one, I no, this isn't Superman number one. This is just a millennial edition of Superman. Uh, first, I believe, appearance of Tom Strong, America's Comics. I think Trey had like a quick post that said, "Pick these up." I saw it, dollar fifty. We'll see. Something else I'm trying to add to the collection, Infinite Crisis Index. This D, this Infinite Holiday Special number one, something told, tells me or told me that this might be something significant. I really don't know, but yeah, you never know. Uh, Captain Marvel 16, first Norvell or Narvel, one of the Quasars uh, that's currently in the DCU. This is her first appearance. These books are all over the place. They can go for dollar fifty, two bucks, three bucks, four bucks, up to ten to fifteen bucks. You know, I could use it in some trade fodder, and this book actually might be in better condition than mine, so I might upgrade. Uh, yeah, uh, Shaolin Cowboy number one. This says in color, so this leads me to believe that there might be a black and white version. So I don't know. Either way, I, I looked it up online. It's a ten dollar book, eight to ten dollar book. You know, I'll take it for a buck fifty. New Mutants 18 with the New Mutants trailer dropping. This book might see some heat. Uh, this isn't. This is the first Warlock, or I think. Um, so again, you know, if he appears in the credits, might be worth a pickup. Sensational She-Hulk 45 early appearance of Rocket Raccoon. This is another She-Hulk risque cover that I don't think goes for much, but. Things like this tend to blow up, so you know I'll take and these other Supergirl covers that I love to collect. It's uh, the last couple of issues of the this series of Supergirl. It's 76 through 80. It's just some classic covers. Supergirl 80, Supergirl 77, not as classic, but Supergirl 79, a good cover swipe. Infinite Crisis 6, you know, good ads for a dollar fifty to the collection. I'll take and the next couple of books are some. Uh, some old key fantastic four issues that lost all their heat tales of green lantern Corps uh, number two this is actually the first appearance of the darkest night it's a story by uh, alan moore that kicked off jeff johns's awesome uh 
Green Lantern run. And I believe uh, Tales of Green Lantern Corps 3, I believe this is the first appearance of uh, Necron, if I'm not mistaken. So I got these books. In addition to that, I got these magazines from the, that late, this lady. I always, you know, everybody's always been a fan of Wizards, especially with Wizards with old classic covers. This is an Adam Hughes cover, uh, Wizard number, oh, I forgot, July 1998. Uh, it's a great cover with his rendition of these superheroes. It's kind of funny how some of these superheroes look like uh, actresses. That one could pass for China. That one could pass for Meg Ryan. Yeah, it's just funny. A J. Scott Campbell cover that I didn't know existed. Uh, another wizard book. Wizard. Uh, out of kind of September 1999. Uh, these two Dark Knight 2 presents. Two bucks each. And this comic book art profile. This is an Adam Hughes uh, special or issue that has a, actually has an early cover checklist of his. Which I thought was really cool. It has some of his art. Uh, I think you guys are going to have to take my word for it, but yeah, just something that I thought was a cool ad for two bucks. Oh, there's a checklist. Uh, unfortunately, the checklist only goes up to August 2002 because that's when this was produced, but again, something under the radar that, you know, Alex Hughes fans might want to add. These next books were obtained from a store in Elk Grove. Um, yeah, a uh, store. I've, I've been to this store a couple times. It's always been picked over. I guess they have all back issues at 75% off. And I'm glad I went in there because I got almost a complete run of Gen 13 for 63 cents an issue. Gen 13 number 2, number 4, number 6, 7. I passed up 8 and 9 because they didn't look like they went. They were another volume. Idiot. 11, 13A... B, C, 14, 15, 18, 9, or 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, uh, and this weird uh, rave edition, most of the run for Gen 13, and I know I went through them fast, but some of them were um, Newsstand editions, another cheap J. Scott Campbell cover that was hiding out there, another J. Scott Campbell joint, this Jim Lee um, Wonder Woman special that was also 75% off of 8 bucks. I didn't want to pay 8 bucks for it, I only paid 2 glad I got it. The variant, uh, this is actually New Avengers number 7, this is actually the first appearance of the Illuminati, this is the variant to that. It's stated as Startling Stories of Century number 7, but it's actually New Avengers number 7. Uh, just a Power Girl um, cover for cheap. Uh, I think the early Valerie Richards joint. And two nice Lin Yu, or what Lin Yu variants. New Avengers 27, 1 in 50 variant, and 1 in 100 variant. I think Lin Yu's way underrated and he might blow up, so that's why I got those. A uh, couple of other books I got from a local comic store in Fresno. Uh, glad to have these for three bucks. Legion number 35 actually was able to procure two of them for, for three bucks each. Uh, used a gift certificate my sister got, so these were actually free to me. Legion number 35, Adam Hughes cover. Some more Adam Hughes. Gen 13, some boys books I needed. An awesome sketch that's kind of under the radar. This is actually Gen 13, 1 in 50. Kind of not as rare as you think, but still a nice J. Scott Campbell cover. More Hughes, more Hughes. Gen 13, number one for five bucks, and number four for three bucks. And last but not least was uh, another social media comic find. I actually struck a lot of deals from that this recently haven't been able to go to shows so this is where I um, kind of not cleaned up this guy who I dealt with actually overcharged me on everything but this is one of those times where I just kind of wanted to establish a rapport and maybe get into his dollar boxes supposedly he has great dollar boxes um, so 
you know, I was willing to spend overspend just to kind of get in with him. I think he charged me 15 bucks for this Gen 13 number one. It is mint, but I should have waited on this. I just, again, wanted to build a stack. Um, Marvel a team up number 41, a very, uh, very nice condition in this book. Another book I got overcharged for. I don't remember how much. But again, uh, just kind of wanted to get in with him. A couple of early Harley books. Harley Quinn 5, 10, uh, and 32. All in really, really, really good condition. All New X-Men 96. This one I severely overpaid for, but it is a very nice copy. And last but not least was the best copy of X-Men 266 I've ever seen. This book is in crazy good condition. It's I've seen five, six, seven, eight, nine copies of this and never seen one in such good condition. Uh, he charged me over a hundred bucks for it. I know that's overpaying. I know I could have gotten it cheaper, but again, I want to establish a rapport with this guy because again, people have told me that you know he doesn't sell much, but when his dollar boxes come around, they're steel. So again. Sometimes you got to pay a little bit more to get something down the line. Um, yeah, this is a very fast comic haul because I had a lot to get through. I just hope you guys like it. Uh, I don't think I cussed once. And yeah, um, happy hunting. And like I always say, please stay out of my backyard. Yeah, you got some silverware, but really, are you eating no?